Good morning everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So I am here in Miami Beach in my brand spanking new apartment. If you are new here and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I am originally in New York City. I have an apartment in Harlem that I've had for over 10 years. I still do have that apartment, but I have also gotten myself a second spot in Miami Beach. If you're wondering, hey girl, hey, why? Are you renting two apartments? Please go back and watch the Why I'm Moving to Miami video. It will answer all of your questions. So you all have seen the empty apartment tour and with me putting my closet together, I still have no furniture. I have only been here for two days and I am currently sleeping at my good friend Rhea Michelle's apartment. She lives less than a block away from me so it works out. I'm here during the day collecting packages that are being delivered and everything but hopefully my bed will come tomorrow and we will begin to update everything with the panorama that's happening. It's so hard to get furniture. Things are on back order. I have to wait for months to get things. And being a type A person, that does not work for me because I want everything in here to be done ASAP. I did make a little leeway on my closet, so I'll show you guys that. If you want to see my empty apartment tour, that video probably went live before this one, so definitely check it out. I do love that my apartment is super duper bright. <sighs> the light it just does something so you guys are gonna spend my first weekend with me here in miami beach today is saturday february the 20th i want to say i don't know y'all i have lost all sense and perception of time to be honest i'm going to show you my outfit of the day we're gonna head out we're gonna get some brunch I'm gonna hit up some furniture stores. I'm gonna show you what I've gotten in so far as far as like rugs and things. I do have a shoot tomorrow with Bella Rosa Blog. Maria, who is my photographer here in Miami, she happens to be Roses. Dadu Sheik, who is my photographer most of the time, they're cousins. So, I mean, I kept it in the family. Like, let's keep it female owned. Let's keep it black owned. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right, so let me show you guys my closet. So here's my closet, it's pretty deep and it's perfect for what I need here in Miami Beach. I finally got the rest of my hangers. If you're interested, I got these hangers from Amazon and they are so sturdy. They're a little bit shiny, they are perfect. Very, very well made, super cost effective. I think I ordered a hundred of them and I think it was about $100 for 100 of them. So not bad at all. Really good quality hangers. Hanger as well from Amazon. Y'all, please excuse my nails. I promise you I got them done like three days ago. No joke. But of course, when you're moving and opening boxes and moving things and lifting suitcases. And also I took my hair out after I got my nails done and had it redone and washed it. And y'all... I'm gonna get it together though, don't worry. So these hangers are also from Amazon and they are amazing quality. I will link them down below. So let me show you so far how I've organized my closet. I have all of my shoes here. If you're interested in knowing each shoe, check out the video before this one, my empty apartment tour. So here I have all of my shorts and my, one of my Christian Dior bags. That's not gonna stay there. I don't know where it's gonna go for now. But I have shorts here, as you can see. My Jacquemus shorts made the cut. And then we have pants here. These I wore recently, the last time I was in Miami, but these are thrifted. One of my favorite pair of thrifted pants. And these I also wore the last time I was here. This is, these are the Jacquemus white linen pants. I also have them in pink from Jacquemus and in kind of like a marigold from Jacquemus. And then also my favorite little striped pants from something by Sanji. Sanji and I are currently working on our spring summer collection. 
so stay tuned and then i have two pairs of jeans there now up here i have shirts and tops and t-shirts and then i have like cardigans and all of my blazers and then over here we kind of expanded in the last video i showed you guys that it was mostly just dresses but now i have added all of my skirts here in the front this one is a jacquemus skirt this one is tamara melon yeah so i have all of my skirts here in the front and then it kind of goes into my mini dresses and then my midi dresses and then my maxi dresses still have my Loewe bag there and inside of it i have my other bag so this is my bottega pouch bag in here in the ice blue and then my ball mom bag there i did bring my chanel belt my chanel vintage belt there as well so so far the closet is the only thing that is like complete here i mean i guess when you're a fashion girl that's what matters the most but i'm living out of a suitcase <laughs> i think i'm gonna do a little nook here i'm probably gonna put a pack system on this wall here and a little area where i can do sit down videos there i'm going to put a big mirror here and i think my bed is going to go here i got this really nice jute rug from I want to say I got it from Amazon or um, All Modern. I'll link it down below. This is five feet by eight feet and it's like the perfect size. I love this natural feel. Like I said, all of my decor is going to be very natural. Lots of colors like this, whites and creams, very beach vibes. And this is just a perfect anchoring piece for the bed that I think I'm going to get. I was wondering if I should put my bed on this wall or this wall. I settled on this wall only because if I put my bed here, I feel like it's gonna be too close to the door and I don't like that. <laughs> and so I've settled on putting the bed here, gonna have like a little nightstand there and here, gonna get long curtains that go all the way up and down here. That's what we've gotten completed so far let's go in here so this rug came in i think yesterday i have this same rug in my harlem apartment in the dining area as well as in my bedroom layered on another white rug but i want it a very stark contrast because the wood here in this apartment is darker than the wood in my harlem apartment the wood in my harlem apartment is a lot more warm and a lot brighter, brighter brown, like almost caramel, where here it's a very dark. So I wanted to offset that with something stark and white. This is a faux cowhide rug in white and tan. This is the five foot by six foot. This comes in a few different colors and I'll link it down below, but I plan on putting my dining table right in the middle with two chairs. I'm gonna put a painting here, some greenery in the corner, and other than that, I don't think we've gotten much new in other than this book. I actually bought this the last time I was in Miami from a store here that they have on Lincoln Road. And this was just an omen to me that once I get my first apartment, I'm gonna put this book on my coffee table. And I also love that there is a black model on the front. If you guys know me, you know I'm all about black coffee table books and I have a ton in my Harlem apartment. And so this apartment won't be any different. If you're into coffee table books, I will link my favorites down below and you can check them out. I did also end up getting the same curtain from Target. It's like gray and linen with these little strings down at the bottom i just like how natural it feels i have the same one in my harlem apartment and i just it flows well with this one as well but i will link the shower curtain down below if you guys are interested i did get something else in that i'm like super excited about and you can tell i'm a, an adult because i'm excited about a garbage can so my bathroom is quite small there's not a lot of space for like a garbage but I found a super slim garbage can from Amazon and you guys it's perfect let me show it to you so you guys see how tiny the space is between 
like the toilet and the sink here. But look at this super slim, very sleek and modern garbage can. And I feel like it was pretty cheap. It has a little divot here, right there. And all you have to do is tap it and it pops open, which is great. So I really like that. And then additionally, there is a little handle here. You pull it out and inside is a toilet brush cleaner. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect, right? I'm really happy about this. So if you all are in need of a very like small but effective and very sleek trash can, I will link this down below. I think I have the white one here. This is white with the gray handle. I think it comes in a few different colors too. So I'll link it. And then last but not least, I did get a new like little laundry bag also from Amazon. So here it is, it's super cute. I could just lift up the handles here. Again, I went with a nice neutral color. At the top, it has a little drawstring with net. I'm just gonna be using this to store my dirty clothes and also to carry my clothes over to the on-site laundry until I get my washer and dryer for this room, which should hopefully be coming in the next month. All right, guys, so that's it for now. I'm gonna get myself together, show you guys my outfit, and we're gonna head out today. Hmm. Let's see what shoes we're gonna go with. All right guys, so let me go over my outfit of the day. It's a beautiful day, by the way, not too hot at all. The lip I'm wearing is NARS Mysterious Red. It's one of my favorite red lipsticks. The earrings are Majuri Oversized Thin Hoops. I will link these down below. If you just click the link to my Majuri jewelry, it'll take you to a page with everything that I own, so you can check it out. And if it's your first time shopping with them, you will also get a discount. Now for the scents, today I went with Barreto Ball Da Freak, which is one of my favorite scents. And the dress, uh, you guys, I love this dress. Now funny story about this dress, it is from Beck and Bridge. And the last time that I was in Miami, I wore a white dress from Beck and Bridge and ever since getting that white dress, I've been really into the brand. But everyone loved that dress and so I went onto their website. It's an Australian brand, quite pricey, I must say, but uh, the quality of their dresses is impeccable. I haven't found anything better, I promise you. And so I saw that they were having a sale and I ended up purchasing two dresses and mailing them to myself at Miami East Hotel when I was staying there a few weeks ago when I was apartment hunting here. Y'all, the dress didn't come in time before I left. Good thing my friend Rhea lives here. She just went and picked it up for me. So these dresses have been in Miami waiting for me. And so I thought I should wear it. It's a beautiful brown, kind of like a taupe, caramelly type of color. It's ribbed. I am wearing my normal Aussie size, which is a 10, which translates to a US size six. It is very form fitting and perfect. You guys, I absolutely love it. I also got this dress in yellow. It comes in a few different colors. And if it's available, I will link it down below for you. For the shoe, we went with my Bottega Veneta Lido mules in the slipper color. And if you're interested in these mules, I feel that they do run true to size. All right, I'm gonna throw on my bag and we are gonna head out. <sighs> a girl loves a good pair of sunglasses and these are Lueve. They might have sold out, but they tend to come back in stock on a few different websites. So if I can find them, I'll link them down below for you guys. Gonna grab my purse and we're gonna head out.
going to check out City Furniture. See if I can find anything there. Hopefully they have some good stuff, so we will see. I'll put the address for this place in the description box. just leaving city furniture and I'm over by the design district so gonna pop into a few shops I did see two couches that I really love I was gonna go with something from like CB2 or West Elm but everything is back ordered for months and I don't want to be without a couch for more than three months so I'm checking out all of the local furniture stores here in Miami to see if I can get something sooner but I have stumbled across the design district, so I'm gonna check out some shops, see what I can find, and then get back to checking out a few furniture stores. There's lots of furniture stores in the design district, by the way. There's also a Target and a Marshalls that I will probably hit up too, all on Northeast First Avenue. I'm right here at the Louis Vuitton art wall. Let me show you. All right, so let's do some shopping. Sorry I look all oily and gross, but that's mass life. I'm here at Madani Furniture now. I'm gonna go in and check it out. I did do a little bit of window shopping around in Miami Design District. I went in Bottega. I was looking at two pairs of sandals. 
and I'm thinking I might get one pair so let me know if you like the brown or the green versions I just posted a new reel on Instagram which was the what I wear to New York Fashion Week part three featuring an Alta Zura dress make sure you are following me on Instagram so you catch all of my fashion content and reels I hardly ever post them on YouTube so if you're really into the fashion when it comes to my content you should be following me on Instagram it was really lovely in the Miami Design District but I didn't <sighs> buy anything there's a chicken on the side of the road i think it's a chicken or a rooster i'm not sure but there's lots of those around in miami along with lizards i think i'll make a video on things i've noticed since moving to miami that i never really noticed before so let's go into madani furniture i will link them down below and see what they have hopefully they have a couch in stock that i like the first place i think it's called city furniture they did have two couches that i like one is available and the other won't be available until april so i'll see let's go ahead and go in here and see what they have modani furniture perfect Just got in from furniture shopping and also just a quick little look through at the Miami Design District. I'm gonna get myself together and then I will check back in with you guys. All right guys, so update. The first place I went to, the city furniture place, was actually really amazing. There was two really cute couches, a high chair that I would love to use for a beauty chair with like lucite legs. I looked at a ton of couches and things. Two couches I really loved. One is not available until April, one is available now. So I'm just gonna do some quick measurements and see which one would be the best. And if I feel like waiting until April, y'all, I don't know if I can go too much without a couch. And then I went to Madani. There was really nothing in there. It was quite small compared to the first place. And I didn't see much that I liked. I also did a quick little browse through um, at the Miami Design District, I did go into Bottega and I tried on two pairs of sandals that I've been loving. They're the stretch sandals with the elastic straps. Super cute. I tried on the chocolate brown ones and the hunter green ones. Everyone was telling me I should get the hunter green, but I actually went in for the brown. Luckily, they have them both in my size, so I'm just going to think about it, look through my closet, see which ones. Um, would be the best because I don't have any dark brown shoes and I really wanted a pair but I also don't have any green shoes <laughs> I love those too my apartment is a bit of a mess even though I don't have any furniture I have boxes and bags and just stuff all over the place so I'm gonna take the next hour or two throw on some YouTube I think a few people that I follow posted new videos and clean up a little bit because tomorrow morning I have a shoot with Maria. She's gonna come here and we're gonna shoot maybe like five looks. I'll show you when I'm gonna shoot tomorrow morning. So I'm kinda hungry, I wanna snack. I don't have much, <laughs> cause I just went to the grocery store yesterday, but let's see. I do have some organic chili lime mango slices from CVS. These are delicious, by the way. I also have Nature's Valley Roasted Nut Crunch. I had one of these for breakfast, so I don't want that. I also have these gummies that I always get at the airport on my way here. They are so good. They are like gourmet gummy bears, and they taste delicious, y'all. 
I can't even, they taste so good. I also have a little Jenny's Sorbet Frosé. You guys know I love this. I found it here at the grocery store. So very excited to have that. I think I'll actually have a little bit of this for a snack. Oh, did I tell you that I went to Yardbird for lunch and I had the chicken, cheese and egg biscuit with I think a blueberry or a raspberry a mimosa and y'all it was delicious okay y'all know I love Yardbird it's one of my favorite restaurants in Miami Beach anywho I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and I will check in with you guys tomorrow but if you are feeling this video so far if you're loving it please do give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video and i will check in with you guys tomorrow when it's time to shoot i'll show you some behind the scenes of the process how i put the looks together how me and maria shoot what she uses to shoot and yeah I'll give y'all all the tea on that so very excited for my first official shoot while i'm living here because i've done a few here all right guys i will check in with you manana bye good morning guys it is Sunday morning. Um, I've been up for a while because I just posted my luxury wish list video and I had to do the description box for it. But now I'm all dressed and ready. I'm about to shoot some looks with Maria. She's Bella Rosa blog on Instagram. Give her a follow. But I do have something new in that came today and it is my mattress. I'm so happy to have a mattress y'all. So I got this mattress from Amazon and my girl Janae of Hilo Lux told me that this mattress is the best. So I'm really happy to have it. It came in a box and then I just unfolded it and it just kind of, it's like inflated. It's supposed to be done within 24 to I think 72 hours, but literally I've only had it open for about 45 minutes and it's already looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna let that continue to inflate for the rest of the day. The brand is Jing Wei, and I will link it down below if you guys are interested. It's super plush and firm at the same time, which is what I need because my bones be hurting sometimes, y'all. All right, so these are a few things we are shooting today. This little like knit dress with gold in it is from and other stories. I've had this for a while and never wore it, but I think it would look really good with my new Chanel dad sandals. I'm also shooting this color block dress from Cameo Collective. I think this is still available. I will link it down below. Go with your normal size. We're shooting the outfit that I wore yesterday, this Beck and Bridge dress. Last but not least, we're going to do a beach look as well. This is Mara Hoffman, this wrap, and this bathing suit, I think this is from Target. The first thing we are shooting is this look from Walmart. I'm doing a collaboration with them to celebrate one of their brand launches. So I'm gonna go out and shoot this. By the time this video goes live, it'll be on my Instagram. So if you could go and show this photo some love and drop me three red hearts to let me know that you came from YouTube. I've been loving doing this and thank you guys for participating. It's really cool to see how many of you are watching that actually follow me on Instagram. So look who's here. It's Maria. Hello. <laughs> And we are gonna go ahead and shoot. I'm gonna bring you guys along to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. And yeah, let's go. Oh, this lip is NARS Mysterious Red, by the way. And y'all, my nails still look crazy, so please don't judge me. It's not a game, it's a red thing.
I just got back from shooting with Maria. We shot five looks. We shot a look for Walmart, that brown Beckham Bridge dress that I wore yesterday. We then shot a colorful color block dress from Cameo Collective. We then shot a really cool little knit look with my Chanel dad sandals. And finally we went to the beach and shot another quick look. So that was five looks that we shot and we did it in about an hour and a half, I would say. I am very strategic when it comes to shooting. I always have everything ready to go, kind of have places picked out in my mind. Overall, very productive. Went and got a little acai, I think that's how you say it, a smoothie really really delicious i also got a poke bowl i'm going to take this look off put on something a little more comfortable eat my meal while posting a sponsored post that i have with afterpay you guys know that i am an afterpay ambassador i work with them almost all of 2020 and we're wrapping up our year-long partnership with this activation it's like i'm doing a new york fashion week takeover for them so that should be fun oh and just in case you're interested in anything you saw me shoot or wear i've linked everything down below or you can download the like to know it app it's an app that a lot of bloggers influencers and business owners use so that you can shop their instagram or you can shop their blog post or you can shop anything i'm wearing in a video just download the like to know it app and follow me at monroe steel it's a lot like kind of like instagram but shoppable and anything that i post on there there are links for you to shop that way you don't even have to go down and look in the description box or if you see something that i wear on instagram that you want you can go on the app and find all the links to everything or you can just click the shop my closet or shop my outfits link down below Hmm. All right, guys, I'll check back in soon. All right, guys, so my post just went live, which is wonderful. I feel like I've done all of the work I need to do for a good while. So now I can like kind of relax and focus on decorating. Speaking of which, I just got a box in from Target. So I'll show you guys what I ordered from Target to kind of go into these little nooks that I have here. Right now I just have a ton of stuff in there. Anywho, let me show you what I got to eat. <laughs> Sorry, it like tilted over in the bag. But I got a salmon poke bowl with mango, arugula, green beans, ginger, kind of like a hot mustard sauce, and some seaweed. So I'm gonna eat this. Luckily there are tons of healthy places to eat where I live so I feel like that's amazing I'm gonna eat and then I'll show you guys what I got from Target all right guys so just finished my lunch and breakfast it was delicious that was like some of the best poke bowl I've ever had sorry it's echoey in here because i don't got no furniture y'all but i do have a little something in from tarjay so let me open it up and show you guys what i got so i got these from target it's a storage bin it is 11 inches long by 10 inches wide by 8 inches tall so if you have any use for something like this maybe under the sink storage i will link these down below for you guys i think i ordered three of them so let's get them out and then we will place them see how they look and i think we'll end the vlog there all right guys so in addition to buying three of those i also bought a little basket here it is i love the coloring on it another target find what i'm gonna do is put a plant in this in my dining room yeah it's gonna be a plant holder but i absolutely love it it is the, just the vibe that i'm going for we're going for beachy because we're on the beach we're going for lots of natural textures and fibers mainly because i've been in the house for a year in harlem <laughs> and i want to feel like my home is an oasis which is actually why i redid my harlem apartment literally 
right before going into lockdown in March. I completed my living room update in my Harlem apartment. And then throughout the year, I just updated every single room until I felt like I liked being there <laughs> because I was there a lot. So I wanna do the same thing here as well. So if you're interested in this basket, it is from Threshold. It is a, it is a storage basket handcrafted with seagrass and it's pretty tall. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Let's go ahead and put those baskets in the cubbies and see how they look. And then we're gonna end today's vlog. All right, so, so far I only put in two and I think that's all I'm gonna put in. Of course, I'm gonna remove this. I think I'm gonna put like a little vase here and the one in the top. You know, maybe some little home decor knickknacks here in the middle. Then I have another basket. And then at the bottom, I don't know what I'm gonna put down there. I'm thinking maybe a basket of like towels and things like that. I'm not sure. We will see. I just want it to look aesthetically pleasing. Don't even look at that because none of this stuff is gonna be here. That's just where it is for now. So it's not on the floor. I still have one extra one. So I think I'm gonna put this underneath the bathroom sink with a few of my beauty products for now. All right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end today's or this week, spend the weekend with me in Miami, my first weekend in Miami vlog. I have a lot to do. There is a farmer's market I wanna hit up. There's also a few home decor and furniture stores not too far away from me and I wanna check them out before they close because today is Sunday. Thank you guys so much for all of the love on my move and this new chapter of my life and just for being so supportive. Everything you have seen in this video has meticulously been linked down below in the description box. And if you enjoyed spending this weekend with me in Miami, please do give your girl a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you haven't yet joined the family yet, like what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. There will be tons more Miami vlogs. We are getting this apartment together. Bear with me y'all, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do like a full apartment tour, like with it all being actually finished until like April. It's just the look of the draw here with everything going on. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me this weekend and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.